Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. During an adiabatic process, the pressure of a gas is found to be proportional to the cube of its absolute temperature. The ratio Cp upon Cv for the gas is here we have given four options. Option A 4 by 3, option B 2, option C 5 by 3, option D 3 by 2. In this question, we have to given for adiabatic process, pressure is directly proportional to the cube of absolute temperature. Okay. We know that here we have using the formula for adiabatic process PV raised to power gamma equal to K. Here gamma is the ratio of Cp upon Cv. What is Cp? Cp is specific heat of gas at constant pressure and Cv is specific heat of gas at constant volume. Now, for ideal gas PV equal to nRT. Here n is n gram mole. Here we have using n equal to 1 gram mole. Okay. So PV equal to RT. Then volume can be written as RT by P. So substitute this value in this condition. Here first it is second. Now P in the place of V we have substitute RT upon P raised to power gamma equal to K. Then P R raised to power gamma P raised to power gamma upon P raised to power gamma equal to K. Then P 1 minus gamma T raised to power gamma equal to K upon R raised to power gamma. This is we have considered another constant K R raised to power gamma consider this K dash. So P raised to power 1 minus gamma P raised to power gamma equal to K dash. It is equation number third. Okay. Now it can be written as P raised to power 1 minus gamma. Transposing this term, it reaches to the denominator of the right side and become T raised to power gamma. Okay. So P raised to power 1 minus gamma equal to K dash T raised to power minus gamma. Now if we want to be remove this 1 minus gamma, then we have using exponent law both the side one upon one minus gamma. This values cancel out p k dash raised to power one minus gamma t raised to power minus gamma upon one minus gamma. This is the power of constant, so therefore it is also a constant. So p is directly proportional to the t raised to power minus gamma upon 1 minus gamma. Okay, but here given in the condition p is directly proportional to the t cube. So therefore substitute this value t cube proportional to the t raised to power minus gamma 1 minus gamma. So comparing this uh, powers t equal to minus gamma upon 1 minus gamma. Okay, then multiply 3 into 1 minus gamma equal to minus gamma, given the 3, minus 3 gamma equal to minus gamma. Transposing this term, now it becomes 2 gamma. So 3 by 2, the value of gamma that is 3 by 2. So let's see which option is based here. Here option D is correct. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.